Hey everybody, it's go 666 here for my, uh, what's today? Shit, it's, uh, August 1st, and I've got so many movies, I already have enough movies for the next update, I just haven't watched them all, so I decided to split up what I haven't watched and what I have so far for this update. Anyway, moving right along, the first film is The Descent, and this was just great, like, I could really see this becoming a classic in years to come. And this is a this is the full screen version. I got this at Walmart for like five bucks, I believe. Open it up. It's got a nice little card in there. You know, very good film. And I don't want to ruin too much about it. And there really is not much that really not that much to ruin about it because it's actually a pretty simple movie, but it's very scary. It's pretty gory. It's got really actually good gore effects. Uh, definitely check out The Descent. And hopefully I can come across uh, The Descent Part 2 sometime soon, because I've heard good things about that as well. Next up is the original, The Last House on the Left, and ever since the remake came out, you can basically find this anywhere. But yeah, uh, not, not like the most prestigious packaging for such a classic, but it's got this little anti-piracy advertisement thing here, but oh well. It's still a decent movie, um, rape revenge film. Uh, I haven't seen the remake, so uh, I'll have to get along to that as well. But this is a classic. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's it's kind of bland, but what most 70s films are, in my opinion, but it was still very good. Next up are these next two films, um, Predator and Predator 2. I'm going to start off with uh, Predator. It was very good. It was had some decent gore, had a pretty unique storyline, some good action scenes. Uh, just a phenomenal film. second one was more of an action film. It had hints of horror, but this was much more of an action film. This was also very good. I really liked both movies. I haven't seen any of the Alien vs. Predators yet, but I'm um, hoping I can go buy those soon and just check those out. But definitely check out both of these films. These were both good. Predator and Predator 2. Um, this same thing as, as uh, The Descent came with that little card in there from Walmart. Same thing with Predator 2. They both came with the little card things. And, and anyway, they come on the outside. I had to take it off and trim it down so it could fit inside the actual box, but that's alright. Next up, these aren't movies, and they're not very horror. They're more comedy. But uh, they're, it's just an old... It's like a show that was recently on that got canceled. I really loved it. Me and my dad used to watch it all the time. It's season 1 and season 2 of Reaper. Such, such a kick-ass show, and it's pretty good packaging. This little thing sleeve slides off. It's got the guys on there, and kind of holographic case. Open it up. Got this shit in here. Nice little uh, episode list. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, it's got all the discs in there. Very nice. If you can see that, it flips over. It's nice. Same thing with uh, the second season packaging, except it doesn't have that little sleeve with the guys on it. It's different. But uh, if you've not seen Reaper, I suggest you go like find these because it is a funny ass show, and it's just great. It's got elements of horror. It's got. It even has at some points a little bit of blood and gore. But uh, yeah, Reaper, very very good show. Go check out. Like, find find these. It was only two seasons, so you should be able to find these. They come in a double pack. Next up, these two, these next two horror films are not, um, totally horror either, but there's something I watched, like, the first one was something I watched when I was littler. It's the first Harry Potter. And, uh, I'm just barely starting to pick these up. Actually, I, this one's, this is an older copy from when it first came out, but this, this is the original two-disc copy of The Sorcerer's Stone. And what can you say about these? These are I, I think these are pretty damn good, but you know most people would disagree if they're totally into horror. Next, I don't even have the second one or any of the others for that matter right now. But I, the third one here, The Prisoner of Azkaban, this is when they started really getting dark. And, like I like this film. This one was really good. I haven't seen any of the others though, so hopefully I can get to those sometime soon. Next up is a slasher. It's New Age, and it's wedding slashers. And, uh, this was a brutal film. I mean, it was, I mean, it was kind of, it was pretty low budget, but it's still an entertaining watch if you want to throw back. This is a good movie for you. It really, it did have a lot of the magic of the 80s, and even though it's new age, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, go check out Wedding Slashers. I, I thought it was decent. 
Next up is a movie that a lot of people hated when it came out. It's very long, and some people say it's very boring, but I actually liked it. It's Exorcist 2, The Heretic, and uh, I got the rest of these Exorcist movies coming in the mail for the next update, so I'll be watching those soon when I when they get here. But anyway, this movie was really good in my opinion as well. Like, it was creepy. It had a lot. It had a good storyline. Really, like, really kept you going. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of people hated it, but this was a good one for me. So, just, you know, go check them all out. Don't don't believe what people say because everyone has their own opinion. Next up is like a totally like shameless ripoff of Saw. It's called Are You Scared? And it's basically the same damn thing. I'm, I think they're gonna make a sequel, or if they they may have already made a sequel, but it's total ripoff of Saw. I can't really say much more about it. If you want to check it out, it's pretty decent, but just a total ripoff of Saw. But you know, it's worth a watch. Go check it out. It's good stuff. Good gory stuff. Next up is a movie I haven't really watched yet because I'm looking for the first one and then the third one so I can do all three of them. But it's Dark Harvest 2. If anyone's, like, seen this, please tell me how it is. I would, like, I'm just curious. But, yeah, Dark Harvest 2. Next up is something uh, my buddy Compelled to Kill here on YouTube. Uh, he sent me this Region 2 copy of Creepshow 3. and Sadly, it will not play on my DVD player. Even though I've played Region 2 DVDs on my DVD player before. But it's, it's whatever. I'm getting a, a Region 1 copy soon. But uh, thank you so much for sending this. I do love this film. I have seen it. It's great. Even though you say it's utter shit. But I don't know. A lot of people do like this. A lot more people hate it. But it, I think it's a decent installment. Although it's very different from the first two creep shows. But uh, check that out if you haven't. I mean, you got to at least put your opinion in if you haven't seen it. Next up is just an awesome film. This is so good. Like, it's basically a parody of all the slashers from the early 80s and stuff. It's called Student Bodies. And, like, it just parodies everything. It plays off. It's like Airplane. Slasher. There's nothing more I can really say. It's just so funny and it's, it's, it's awesome. Go check out Student Bodies. It's, like, there's a sticker that it had on the wrapper or whatever you call that. I cut it out because it says it's the first time on DVD ever, so I put that in there with it. I don't know how long it's been out. Let me see. Oh, 2008. So you should be able to find it. I found it at Best Buy. Next up is the last film in this update, and I just recently watched this. This was a really good one, too. It just, it could have been even better if it had a bigger budget and they used really good cameras, but this was, they had cheapo cameras and stuff when they shot this, and it's a decent storyline, but... Uh, anyway, it's Ghost Watcher, and this was good. I found this at Rite Aid. Go check it out. It's low budget, but it's still a fun watch and pretty creepy at times. I mean, you know, not all the, not all these low budgets are totally shit. I mean, maybe someone would think this is shit if they seen it, but you know, I didn't. So I say go check it out. But yeah, that's just my opinion. But I thought it was decent. Go check this out. It's not very bloody or anything. It's just most. It's rated R mostly for just like for language, but whatever. Ghost Watchers. Go check that out. So yeah, that's my update. Uh, took a little bit longer than I thought I would. I'm just I'm, I'm trying to watch so much shit, but as you can see, I'll let you look over my shoulder here. All that right there is what I'm going to watch, and there's even more in the mail, so, yeah, that's that, uh, I'll get back to you whenever I can, uh, Mr. Claw could not be here again, I can't get a hold of him for the life of me, and I really needed to get this DVD updated, so hopefully he can be on the next one, uh, no, I'm sure people miss him, but, uh, what, what can I do, you know, I can't wait forever, but anyway, uh, yeah, till next time, I guess that's it. Dual 666 out. Keep on creeping.